in early January of this year, I was diagnosed with depression. That's pretty much the gist of where I've been. My mental health dropped off a proverbial cliff, and for a time I was considering doing the same. And I'm not joking about that, that I genuinely was suicidal for a bit. Don't worry though, I am on meds now, and I'm doing a hell of a lot better. I posted that one video um, a little while ago, just to try and restart some momentum, but I haven't really been able to do so. And I'm also very, very rapidly approaching finals for my university course. Life is just eating up a lot of time that I'd really like to be putting into YouTube. It also doesn't help, I'm pretty sure I've got some sort of sleep disorder. Ah, uh, because I could straight up sleep for 16 hours a day through four alarms and my friend banging on my door and calling me 15 times. So, you know, there's uh, probably some other stuff that's going on. Everything's just sort of taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Which is unfortunate, because I'd really like to get back into YouTube and start making videos and start producing high quality content for you guys. It's a hell of a lot of fun. It might be a lot of work, yeah, but... It's definitely rewarding, especially once a video all just comes together, and you can see what you've done. I'd honestly recommend YouTube for everyone. Well, not everyone's going to like it, obviously, but I think everyone should at least give it a go, because it's a hell of a lot of fun, and it's very rewarding. And hell, I have a Discord with 32 members in it, and I'm happy. You know, 400 and, well, nearly 450 subs, I've done a few streams, I've done a lot of stuff I wanted to do. This is not me saying goodbye to YouTube, definitely not. I'm hoping to restart video production in a couple of weeks. I have a giant project planned, which has been taking <clears throat> also a heck of a lot longer than I thought it was going to. If there's one thing I've learned with my journey through mental health, it's that there's always someone out there for you. Even if it feels like there really isn't. I, I know definitely in my case, because um, my girlfriend broke up with me, which definitely exacerbated my depression. Even if something like that happens to you, there are still people you can talk to. There are helplines, family, friends, anyone. There is always someone there that can give you help. And there is always someone there who cares for you and genuinely wants the best for you in life. Also remember that you come first. You experience the world through your own eyes. Having a break from YouTube and stepping back from War Thunder for about two and a half months really put some things in perspective for me, especially to do with the health of the game, and honestly how frustrated it was making me on a day-to-day -day basis. It really had become just unfun to play, mostly because I was actually trying to grind things out, I was actually trying to grind the Japanese tech tree, I was trying to, you know, progress as fast as possible, and for some people that's why they want to play War Thunder. But, for the most part, it really isn't worth it. If you are playing War Thunder, try and not grind. I know it, it sounds kind of like some counterintuitive advice, but try to not play the game for the sole purpose of furthering your progress in the game. If that makes sense, try and play it so that you're playing for fun and not actually playing to achieve a certain goal. Because what I find happens is, certainly with other games I played where I, I set a certain goal for myself, mostly Stardew Valley, I played a bunch, and then I achieved the goal, and then you sort of get left with a sense of, well, what now? For War Thunder, I never had one of those goals. Having a very broad goal is important, not like I want a specific vehicle here. Like Let's say, for example, you want the M1 Abrams tank for America. If you grind and get the Abrams tank, well, what's left? You know, you've done that. And I think the same kind of thing applies with life, honestly. Goals are important in some situations, you know. If you want, you know, to progress through learning, like, or say, studying for a test, having a goal of maybe doing one practice test or two practice tests beforehand, reviewing your notes, quizzing yourself and all that jazz, that stuff's important. But having a specific goal in life having one thing you want to achieve, and then that's it, is not really a good way to live your life. Obviously, everyone's different, might work for some people, definitely didn't really work for me. My general goal in life, personally, is just to help people, and try and make the world a better place than when I was born into it. You can debate the existence of the world as much as you want, whether it's a simulation or whatever, but as far as I'm concerned, this is real life. 
as far as I'm concerned, I was born into this world for the purpose of making it better. And that's how I see it. Doesn't mean anyone else has to exactly see it that way, but just as long as people respect that. And as long as we all respect what other people want from life as well. Other people's goals are not always going to align with ours. Obviously, if someone's goal is to murder a bunch of people, that's bad. Obviously, you know, apply some common sense here and there. Actually, try and apply common sense wherever you go. God knows that some people that I have to deal with could definitely use it. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself and I'm rambling on. And you've been sitting here listening for about eight minutes now. And uh, thank you very much for that. If there's one takeaway from this video, it's that you're not alone. It's that there are people that are out there that will care for you, and do care, and genuinely want the best. And there's nothing wrong with seeking help. I don't care what those quote-unquote alpha male YouTube channels say about, like, oh, seeking therapy is weak, or unmanly, or anything like that. No. You define who you are. The actions you take from your own perspective define who you are, not what somebody else thinks of you. If someone tells you what you're doing is quote-unquote unmanly or feminine or whatever, don't listen to them. Listen to yourself. Listen to that little voice in your head that's guiding you down the right path, that's guiding you towards seeking help and towards becoming the best version of yourself that you possibly can be. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to return to upload soon, and I'll see you all next time.